Toronto, Canada, and we've met up with our friend Andrew, who's an electrical engineer, and he's here to show us how to make a speak and spell, a power glove, and MIDI all play nice together. So how's it going, Andrew? How you doing, buddy? How's it going, Les? I'm nice. awesome. Nice to meet you. Glad to hear it. Now, so what's going on here? How are we going to get all these completely different things to work together? <laughs> with hacking, of course. Well, naturally. <laughs> uh, basically, what we have is... Uh, is two parts. We have a MIDI converter for the power glove that makes it into uh, basically a musical instrument mm -hmm. and then we have a MIDI converter for the speaking <laughs> cell that makes it into a musical instrument too and they're gonna talk and uh, I'm gonna make some noise anyway. Hopefully it'll be awesome. And hopefully it'll sound like music. So you know we're talking about music and we're talking about MIDI so mi MIDI was originally made for music right? Yeah it's a network standard for synthesizers to communicate with one another. It was invented in the early 80s, and uh, it's pretty simple, which is great because it means it's pretty hackable. And how are we going to adapt MIDI to this archaic technology that is the speak and spell? Well, in the case of the speak and spell, what we've done is uh, we've bought a kit from highlyliquid.com mm -hmm. um, that actually allows us to take MIDI messages and look up information in the ROM of the speak and spell and get it to play word fragments, which actually sounds really cool. Um, yeah, we were playing that with that before and it's like... <laughs> At any rate, the, uh, the kit is a great beginner project, so we'll go through that and hopefully, uh, hopefully it'll be cool enough for some people at home to give it a try as well. Sweet. Yeah, okay. let's go ahead. You want to go ahead and crack it open and sure. talk about the inside? Okay, so we've got the speaking spells finally cracked open, and uh, this is the one that we had out. This is an unmodded one, and this is the modified modified one, correct? Yeah. Okay, so if you just want to give us a quick overview of what's going on in here and what you did differently, you know, where, where's the kit? What what part of this is the kit? And well, this is the kit right here. Um, basically, sticks in this big empty space that <laughs> has been conveniently yeah, left convenient. for MIDI modifications. Um, pretty easy to install. You got to solder the board together yourself. Um, that's pretty straightforward. And then there's a wiring diagram on the uh, website of the maker of the kit that we use to connect it to the board. Um, as well, we had to actually cut a hole in the case uh, for the MIDI connector. It's pretty easy to do. You can use a Dremel. It's kind of like standard mm -hmm. case modding. Right, uh, yeah. Hobble procedure. out a hole. <laughs> yeah, basically any way you can with whatever. Mm -hmm. And then there's the wiring back there just two wires that go to it and screws in the plastic easy enough and you said the wiring diagram is really straightforward so it tells you exactly where you need to make your connections and everything else right yeah it's uh it's really easy to follow and uh, pretty much impossible to screw up <laughs> anything's possible <laughs> <laughs> but at least with these boards here they have you know like nice solder points and everything it looks like so if somebody it's, wanted it's to do this forward, yeah now, sure. now, granted, it is precision solder work, so I'd imagine if somebody's not, you know... Might not want to make it your first project ever. Right. But uh, it's... I don't mean to deter anyone either. It's pretty straightforward. And just a little bit of practice with a soldering yeah. iron beforehand, I think they'd be able to get this, no problem. And, I mean, so, I mean, is there any kind of, like, well, what's, what's so cool and unusual about these speaking spells? that just make them available for this kind of mo MIDI modification? Well, they were really advanced for their time. The, uh, the Speak and Spell came out in 1978, which is mind-blowing if you think about the fact that it basically has a computer inside. Mm -hmm. um, what we're actually doing with the kit is interfacing to the 4-bit data bus of the microcontroller that's inside the Speak and Spell, and we're basically uh, putting some information on there that it's not expecting to see. We're forcing our own kind of... Uh, <laughs> so we're sending our MIDI to its hardware we're just and it, we're making some stuff happen. We're just putting it right in and making stuff happen. Yeah, nice. That's, that's uh, awesome. kind of brute force, but um, it works. Uh, mm -hmm. So maybe if... Um, maybe I'll just show you a couple features of the board. There's actually a couple different... Uh, there's a couple different modes or ways that you can install this kit. Mm -hmm. um, there's actually three. The first one uh, emulates the keypad. So basically, when you send MIDI messages, it pushes an equivalent key on the keypad, which okay. will let you have the full speak and spell functionality under MIDI control. Uh, the second two modes are a little more interesting to us um, because they let you make cool noise. <laughs> which is, uh, 
which is what it's all about for me anyway. Um, there's ROM mode A and ROM mode B, and basically in the ROM modes, the MIDI messages will look up uh, in a table a word fragment and play it uh, through the speak and spells output. Uh, in the second ROM mode, a sequence of notes will look up an entire word out of the table in the speak and spell and play it at the output. So you can either um, have control over, you can have access to any word that's in the speak and spells lexicon, or you can uh, you can make any word fragment noise, and it has millions of them. <laughs> seemingly, it has uh, endless banks of these fragments of words mm -hmm. that you can play out. So you can make really cool noise, really cool beats, really cool kind of mm -hmm. garbulation awesome. of sound. Yeah, when you're doing like very unique music that you uh, take part in, you help with that. That's like that's the epitome. That's what you're looking for. Something that that nobody else has. Unless they have a speaking spell with a MIDI chip. Well, that's kind of uh, <laughs> that's kind of the point of the kit. Right. People, people who are interested in getting that sound can get the kit, and they can have something uh, different and unusual. That's awesome. Um, thank you for showing us this. Now, uh, next up, I think we should go to the Power Glove. Yeah, you know, because that was like a, that's like a homebrew. Like, there's no kit involved in that one. You did that. Yeah, so. that's uh, that's a step up from here. Let's take a look at it. All right. <laughs> 